this is the second video on the topic conditional operators if you are interested in watching the previous video on this topic the link is given in the description box so i hope you understood conditions and boolean let me explain again when you ask a question it's called as checking a condition and the value we get as an answer or output is the boolean value we can only get two values as output which is either true or false in the previous video we saw how to check true or false for one variable now we can also check true or false for many variables let's go to python and see how to do that let us use a condi equal to condition between two variables okay so let's write books equal to two okay now let us create another variable pencils so we write pencils equal to two now if we want to see if books and pencils have the same value then we can write print open the bracket close the bracket books equal to equal to pencils so we know that if the value on the left is equal to the value on the right the output will be true now books is two and pencils is also two so the value on the left is equal to the value on the right so the output will be true so now let us save this file and run the code the output says true so let us change the value of books to one so let me delete the two and put one here now let us save the file and run the code now the output says false because the value of books is not equal to pencils because books is one and pencils is two so when we were learning about mathematical operators we saw that we could use them only on integers because we cannot do max on strings right we cannot subtract your name from my name and get a new name like how we would subtract 5 minus 2 equal to 3 if we do that it will be really really funny but in boolean we can check conditions on integers and strings so let's see write some conditions for string variables let us say I have a puppy and we are going to create a variable to save the color of my puppy. So we write my underscore puppy underscore color equal to within single quotes black because we should always write strings within quotes remember. Okay now let us write a condition to check if the color of our puppy is brown so we write a print statement open the bracket close the bracket and within that my puppy color equal to equal to within single quotes brown note the single quotes for brown since it is a string we should always always give the values in quotes now the variable value of the variable on the left is black and the value on the right is brown so this condition will give an output as false let us save the file and run the code the output is false as we expected if we change the string brown here to black in the print statement and run the code again the output will be true because the value on the left which is my puppy color is black and the value on the right which we have given as black is equal so please try that exercise after you finish watching this video now let's say you do have a puppy and its color is white so we can create another variable for your puppy color so we write your underscore puppy underscore color equal to within single quotes white Now we are going to write a condition to check the color of both the puppies. Let us change our previous print statement. Let's remove brown from there and put the second variable which is your puppy color. So I removed brown and I put your underscore puppy underscore color. Now save the file and 
run the code the output is false because like we know the color of the puppies is not the same so you maybe you can change the color of both the puppies to the same color and run it again and the output will be true in the next video we will see many more conditional operators just like how we created puppy color can you create variables like your favorite color your favorite subject and can you create the same variables for your friend like your friend's favorite color friend's favorite subject then can you write the condition to check if the values for your variables and your friend's variables are same like is your favorite color and your friend's favorite color the same or your favorite subject and your friend's favorite subject is the same can you write the conditions now can you print the output the boolean values please try it you will love the exercise and i will see you soon in the next video if you have any questions on this topic please leave a comment and code panna team will try to reply to your question see you soon